Our research is about the health effects of drinking water. Drinking water consists of much more than just H2O. Both human activities and natural sources lead to increased levels of compounds like nitrate from farming activities or arsenic from the ground that holds our drinking water, and many more. All our drinking water in Denmark comes from groundwater and is typically only treated with simple methods. What ends up at the consumer's house depends on where we tap the groundwater and what happens during the treatment and distribution. This is different for every compound. Around 100,000 Danes have their own drinking water well, where quality and monitoring is unregulated. Once ingested, the many compounds in drinking water can affect our health both negatively and positively. Compounds may undergo chemical reactions in the body and target different organs. We have developed a spatial model that links drinking water quality data from the national monitoring database Jupiter to each household, starting in the 1970s. It's a lot of data. In Jupiter, there are around 9 million drinking water analyses for approximately 4,000 waterworks. And because every Dane is assigned a unique personal identification number on which the residential history is registered, we can calculate the cumulative exposure of drinking water contaminants throughout their lives. Like Lars here, he's moved a few times in his life, and his exposure looks quite different to that of Louise and her baby. Because this personal identification number is also used in the health system, we can find out who developed the disease and who didn't. In this way, the entire Danish population is like one big cohort. A great resource for epidemiological studies. And we can attach the environmental exposure variable of drinking water quality to this cohort. Still, many questions need to be investigated, like how is the drinking water quality for the approximately 100,000 Danes that use their own wells? How does newly introduced treatment technology, like softening of drinking water, affect the quality and ultimately our health? We are continuously working on these questions to improve our approach of having Denmark as a pilot country for nationwide exposure studies of drinking water quality.